So this is the view when you come inside my apartment. Um, I'm standing at the front door and there is my coat closet right in front of me and then there's this other closet here. It's completely messy and full of a lot of junk so I'm not gonna open up those doors. Um, this guy, We'll go ahead and open standard coat closet, some storage up at the top, my bag, coats, and then I have all my plant stuff on that shoe rack. Um, and I usually have my vacuum shoved in there as well. Um, not very exciting, but I definitely did not have um, a front closet in my previous apartment so that's nice to have a dedicated space for my coats so as you can see this is actually a garden apartment so I have this little stairs this little few stairs that you walk down right inside the front door um, I've never lived in a garden apartment before there are definitely pros and cons um, one nice thing about this unit is that the ceilings are really, really high and I do have full-size windows. A lot of garden apartments are actually true basements, which I knew I didn't want. Um, given how many plants that I have, that's definitely not an option. Um, but I still have to supplement actually a lot of my plants with, with grow lights. So this sofa, I actually just received about a week ago. Um, and it's from Article. It's the Sven sofa. I don't have the legs put on yet. As you can see, they're sitting right there on my windowsill. Um, I live alone, so it's a pretty big sofa, pretty heavy, um, and I was not able to put those legs on by myself, so I'm just waiting for a friend um, to come over and help me, but it's um, no rush. Hi, Gizmo. Um, that's one of my cats. He just wants to say hi, um, and I still have some of the packing material underneath the um, sofa. So that's what that stuff is right there. Um, but previously, I only had a love seat in this space. Um, I have, I think I had that love seat from Ashley Furniture for about five or six years. And it was fine. I lived in studios previous, previous to this apartment. So it worked really well for me because I generally would sit on my bed most of the time. Um, but given that I have an actual living space, in this apartment, living room rather, I was definitely ready for a full-size sofa. So that is one end um, of my living room there. As you can see, that sofa pretty much takes up that entire space. I don't have any room for any side tables or anything, but that's fine. Um, that lamp over in the corner, I got from Target. I believe it was a Studio McGee piece from last summer. I do have my start of my plant collection over there in the corner. Um, this lamp is from Home Depot of all places. Um, I was supar surprised to see that they actually have a lot of really nice home decor at Home Depot. And then this little table that I have my plants on in the corner is quite old. It's from Pier One. Um, and I believe they closed all of their stores recently, so. I don't think I'll be able to link that or find that down below. Against this wall over here, I have my TV. And I also have that really annoying space heater, uh, radiator rather, over in the corner there. Um, I haven't lived in a department since New York City with these radiators. They are super annoying because obviously due to that, I am stuck with this arrangement of my furniture, but... I think it's fine. So that table that I have my TV sitting on, that console table, is from Wayfair. I actually covered the table portion in white contact paper. You can kind of see the corner is coming a little loose there. Um, I think originally it was like a gray weathered tabletop and I really just wanted a different look in this space. That chair is also from Wayfair. And then I have my um, just collection of baskets underneath here. The bigger one is from Target, and then the other two are actually from World Market. And then I have a ugly cat scratcher underneath the chair, my workout mat there. So that door right there actually goes out to the alley behind my apartment uh, where you 
get to the laundry room, you go out to the dumpster, all that kind of stuff. So nothing exciting out that door. And then this kind of focal point in my living room, I have a lot of my house plants over here. Um, both this glass console table and the bookcase are from CB2. Um, the glass console table I've had for maybe three years. I had it in my first apartment in Chicago. And then the bookcase I just acquired over the summer when I first moved into this apartment. Um, I have a lot of my kitchen stuff actually in those four baskets there. Um, ignore the lint roller. Um, that is a fact of life when you have cats and you wear a lot of black, you have to have a lint roller, um, as well as that lovely scratching post, but I would rather have the cat scratch that than my brand new sofa. Um, that little stool um, underneath the console table is also from Target. And then a lot of this decor is actually from a mixture of Facebook Marketplace, some thrifters that I follow on Instagram, um, and then just some random online places. Um, sorry for the really bright exposure there. I have a grow light hanging over all of those plants. And then I'll sweep you around. You can see my kitchen there, but then this is the other just little wall in my living room. I have this mirror. Um, the mirror is gr a great Facebook marketplace find. I got it for $50. I really like the look. Um, that basket down there is also from Target. The big vase with the palm fronds in it is from um, an online shop. I think it's the, oh, I'm gonna have to double check and I will um, link that vase below, but I really love the way it looks. It was, I wasn't expecting it to be that large actually when I purchased it online. Um, and I really wanna find a big plant to go in that basket. I just have another plant up here, a candle from Anthropology, a little, bamboo fan and then pan you around all right and that's pretty much the extent of my living space it is pretty small but honestly as somebody again who's been in studio apartments my last two places um in chicago uh, it was really nice to have more of a dedicated living room and then as you can see for my kitchen, um, that is it. So it is really, really teeny tiny. Uh, it's probably the thing I dislike the most about this apartment. Um, just really not having um, storage space has been really, really tough. Um, but I do have a dishwasher, which is essential for me. I did not have one in my previous apartment and um, I'm really lazy, I hate dishes. So having a dishwasher was huge for me coming to this place. Um, but as you can see, there is not a lot of storage. I have a couple more baskets up there, like cookbooks, knife block, fridge. Yeah, I am definitely going to be doing a video at some point about um, small space storage. So on my kitchen counter here, I have my Keurig. Um, which I'm actually drinking a lot less coffee these days, but my Keurig, which I absolutely love. I always have swell, but my swell bottle's out because I'm trying to drink a lot of water. Um, I got that pink cutting board from Crate and Barrel or CB2. And then I can't remember honestly where I got that, um, that one in front, the gray and white marble cutting board. I believe it was from a really small shop here in Chicago, um, but it is quite a few years old, so I don't I don't really recall. But yeah, so that is it for the kitchen. Have any of you guys ever lived in an, an apartment with really, really small kitchen spaces? This is probably my second apartment, other than my one in New York City that had such a small kitchen space. And I do really like to cook and bake, so I have made it work. I've learned how to make it work, but it definitely is tough. So I'm sure some of you guys can, can relate to that, especially if you live in apartments in big cities. All right, from my kitchen, we go into this hallway here and I have my closet here that is the biggest one I have in the whole apartment. You can see I have a nice big shelf in here with all my clothes. 
this Ikea drawer system that I've had for ages and then um, some, some junk there because again, no lack of kitchen storage. And the nice thing about this is I also have at the top of the closet another storage space there. It's hard to see, it goes really, really deep inside there. I have um, my bags, the cat carriers, some random Christmas decorations, stuff like that up there. Um, so it's really nice having that extra storage space. Um, I definitely have utilized all the closets uh, in this apartment for sure. There's a quick glance of my bedroom, but we'll really quick stop into the bathroom here. Um, nothing too much to say about the bathroom. I have a really um, spacious shower, which is nice. I actually have never had a stand-up shower before. I've always just had a shower tub combination, so it's kind of nice to have you know, just this really clean look of the shower. I have some eucalyptus in there. Um, I really enjoy that. And then I just have a little candle, my portable speaker, because I like to listen to um, podcasts and music when I'm getting ready in the morning. Candle from Bath and Body Works. Um, that little vase um, and then all the the little fronds and decorative stuff inside that base, the pamp pampas grass and everything is from an Etsy shop called the Bohemian Revival. Um, I really like, it's where I got the palm fronds also in my living room from. Uh, this little towel is from Target. Um, I really don't love the look of the vanity, but it does provide a lot of storage. And given that the sink is a pedestal sink, um, I don't have storage otherwise in the bathroom. So it is nice to have those um, for my toiletries and everything. So swinging around, this is my bedroom and my apologies, it's going to be super, super bright in here due to the grow lights that I have for my plants. Um, so this bedroom is actually south facing, but those windows, as you can possibly see, have like a privacy film on them. So there is absolutely no light that comes into this bedroom. And because I have a lot of plans and I didn't want to give those up coming um, to this apartment, I have grow lights actually in the ceiling fan. And then I have another one that's attached to this mirror over here for um, this Monstera that I just recently got. Um, so starting over in this corner over here, I do have this, this wicker chair that I got from Anthropology. Um, it obviously wasn't always in this corner, but as I show you the rest of the room, then you'll kind of see why um, it's in front of the door. But I live alone, so I don't really need to shut the door ever for anything. Um, that mirror I've had for quite a while. Um, that is also from Target. Uh, great, great large mirror. You can sort of see me there. I am not dressed, so I'm not trying to show myself in the mirror. Um, a couple plants here. This Monstera plant is, I think, one of my more recent acquisitions. Um, I really wanted one of those big fancy pots um, with the wooden stand that are kind of trending all over the place right now for anybody who is super into plants and decor and stuff like that. And they usually are running anywhere from 100 to 200 for um, a plant of this size, which is in a 10 inch pot. So what I did is I had this, this gray Ikea pot that I think I picked up a couple months ago for maybe $20. And then this wooden stand I ordered off of Amazon and that was actually only 30, I believe. And it actually is adjustable. So I can make that bigger to accommodate a bigger um, pot should this Monstera need replanted come spring. So my little side table here, I got this stool off of someone last summer on Facebook Marketplace, one of my favorite places to go for um, decor finds. And actually this lamp I also got off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a brand new lamp uh, from, I believe, Crate and Barrel. And the lamp itself was over $100 and I got it for $50 brand new. Um, I was really excited to find that and I just have... A little candle there, some tissues, a couple books. Um, then over my bed here, 
I just have some shelves that I installed. I am certainly not a um, D DIYer at all. I'm shocked that these shelves have actually stayed over my bed. <laughs> um, they're floating shelves from Home Depot. Um, that little art piece on the left, the, the pink one there, I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And then the one on the right is actually from um, a street fair in Rochester, New York, which is where I am from. I have my little couple plants up there. And then because my side table is pretty full already, I utilized that bookshelf or that shelf on the window for a bookshelf, a plant, and then um, one of those Phillips alarm wake up clocks. So it lights up about, I think, 20 minutes before your alarm is set for. And then it just gets gradually brighter and brighter over the 20 minutes. Um, I usually am not a great morning person, but that really, really helped me to wake up a lot easier. Um, I really enjoy that a lot. And let's see. So this duvet cover here is from West Elm, um, as is that pink blanket on the end. Um, the bigger, the long pillow there, that's um, from Polly and Bark. I just got that maybe two weeks ago. I wanted a couple extra pillows for my bed. And then all those um, pillowcases are also from West Elm. Um, this particular duvet, I, if I can find it, I will link it below. I really love the kind of muted soft colors uh, because I've, as you have seen from this apartment tour, I'm not really into a lot of a lot of bright things. I like a lot of neutrals. Um, and this had just enough of enough pop of color that I really enjoyed. And I'm able to kind of tie it in with the blues and the pinks um, in my bedroom. I will say I don't particularly love this bedspread because it does attract um, cat hair insanely. Like I have to use a lint roller um, on it quite a bit. Um, so I don't really love that, but I do like the way it looks a lot. And then over in this corner here, I just have a little a print um, of Chicago and then a little brass face that I got off of, um, again, somebody, a thrifter on Instagram. And then I have my plants here. So that table um, in front of the ladder, the marble table is from Article as well. But I got that for 75 bucks off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. I believe it goes for close to 200 on Article. Again, a really, really great find. Um, that la blanket ladder there that I used for some of my hanging plants. That guy is from Wayfair. I do still have some Christmas lights um, on that ladder that I never plug in, but I've just left up there for the time being. And then this dresser I have had since basically the beginning of time. I think I had that in college um, and it's moved with me to five or six different apartments, three different cities, um, and it's really held up really, really well, quite old. Um, and then that, that mirror, that round mirror, I also, again, found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I had been watching um, another kind of home decor lifestyle YouTuber, and she had this really cool round mirror, and I loved the look of it. And I looked for the specific one that she had, and it was $75, $80, and I was not willing to spend that at that point. Um, same thing with those three little silver vases up there. I have... Um, one of them is Restoration Hardware I got uh, for five bucks on Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. The one with the pompous grass I got from Facebook Marketplace as well. And then the smaller one in here I got from a local shop that's actually really close to me um, that sells plants and flowers and just a bunch of little decor stuff. It's super, super cute. And then this last little corner of my bedroom which is why that chair is in front of the door is because I have my Peloton there. Um, I also have uh, some fake little pompous grass and a monstera leaf um, in some vases. That was kind of before I got into these bigger plants um, and I still really like the way it looks. But um, that is it for my bedroom. I was actually surprised when I moved in um, how much room that I had in this space. Um, 
and I've been really, really happy with it, aside from the whole lighting situation. Um, I do really enjoy the layout of my apartment, um, given that it is a garden. I don't have anybody below me, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about having um, being too loud when I'm working out in my living room or on my bike for anybody. Um, and that's just going back to the kitchen there. I really can't hear my neighbors above me at all, which is really nice as well. Um, but I will say that the cons to this kind of garden apartment for sure are the fact that it does not get a lot of natural sunlight. So I have to supplement my plants. Um, and then it is pretty cold for a base, uh, garden apartment as well. And I don't really enjoy that despite the ugly large heaters that I have. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And everybody have a good day.